This is a chapter from Flash Wisdom, a curated collection of mind-blowing, perspective-changing quotes, edited by me, Russ Kick. This is the living chapter, and it's the longest chapter in the book, so I've divided it into two parts for my reading. This is the second part. And we start with Marie Curie, who said, Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. From Brene Brown, The thing that I have learned is that vulnerability is at the center of fear and shame, but it is also at the center of joy and gratitude and love and belonging. From G.K. Chesterton, It is so easy to be solemn, it is so hard to be frivolous. From Dostoevsky, Much unhappiness has come into the world because of bewilderment and things left unsaid. From Yoko Ono, Each time we don't say what we want to say, we're dying. Jack London. I would rather be ashes than dust. I would rather that my spark should burn out in a brilliant blaze than it should be stifled by dry rot. I would rather be a superb meteor, every atom of me in magnificent glow, than a sleepy and permanent planet. The function of man is to live, not to exist. I shall not waste my days trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. From Bertrand Russell, I have a very simple creed that life and joy and beauty are better than dusty death. From Anais Nin, life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. From Rilke, let life happen to you. Believe me, life is in the right, always. From Leonard Bernstein, I'm no longer quite sure what the question is, but I do know that the answer is yes. From Tom Robbins, there are only two mantras, yum and yuck. Mine is yum. From Emily Dickinson, I dwell in possibility. From Joseph Campbell, paraphrased, the cave you fear to enter contains the treasure you seek. A French proverb, You often meet your fate on the road you take to avoid it. From Terence McKenna, Nature loves courage. You make the commitment, and nature will respond to that commitment by removing impossible obstacles. Dream the impossible dream, and the world will not grind you under. It will lift you up. This is the trick. This is what all these teachers and philosophers who really counted, who really touched the alchemical gold, this is what they understood. This is the shamanic dance in the waterfall. This is how magic is done. It's done by hurling yourself into the abyss and discovering that it's a feather bed. From Florence Nightingale, I attribute my success to this. I never gave or took any excuse. From Joseph Conrad, I don't like work. No man does. But I like what is in the work, the chance to find yourself. From Emily Dickinson, to live is so startling it leaves but little room for other occupations. From Farrah Gray, build your dreams or someone else will hire you to build theirs. From Booker T. Washington, there is as much dignity in tilling a field as in writing a poem. From Charles Baudelaire, everything considered, work is less boring than amusing oneself. From James Baldwin, the price one pays for pursuing any profession or calling is an intimate knowledge of its ugly side. From Tom Peters, get fired. If you're not pushing hard enough to get fired, you're not pushing hard enough. From Chip Heath and Dan Heath, what looks like laziness is often exhaustion. From Margaret Atwood, another belief of mine that everyone else my age is an adult, whereas I am merely in disguise. From Jules Renard, We don't understand life any better at 40 than at 20. By then, we realize it and admit it. From Mary Carr, Having devoted the first half of my life to the dark, I feel obliged to revere any pinpoint of light now. From Agatha Christie, You show me anyone who's lived to over 70, and you show me a fighter, someone who's got the will to live. From Richard Bach, 
Here is the test to find whether your mission on Earth is finished. If you're alive, it isn't. From Bertolt Brecht, don't be afraid of death so much as an inadequate life. From Bridget Bardell, it is sad to grow old, but nice to ripen. From Somerset Mom, old age has its pleasures, which, though different, are not less than the pleasures of youth. From Joyce Carol Oates, I used to think getting old was about vanity, but actually it's about losing people you love. Getting wrinkles is trivial. From Henry de Montherlon, there is only one way to be prepared for death, to be sated in the soul, in the heart, in the spirit, in the flesh, to the brim. From Anna East Nin, people living deeply have no fear of death. From J.M. Barry, spoken by Peter Pan. To die will be an awfully big adventure. From Pete Seeger, we are born in simplicity but die of complications. From Edith Wharton, in spite of illness, in spite even of the arch enemy sorrow, one can remain alive long past the usual date of disintegration if one is unafraid of change, insatiable in intellectual curiosity, interested in big things, and happy in small ways. From Tallulah Bankhead, the only thing I regret about my past is the length of it. If I had to live my life again, I'd make the same mistakes, only sooner. From Antonio Mercado, death is something we shouldn't fear because while we are, death isn't, and when death is, we aren't. From Haruki Murakami, death is not the opposite of life, but a part of it. From Hesse, the call of death is a call of love. Death can be sweet if we answer it in the affirmative, if we accept it as one of the great eternal forms of life and transformation. From Samuel Butler, if life must not be taken too seriously, then so neither must death. From Austin Cleon, obituaries are like near-death experiences for cowards. Reading them is a way for me to think about death while also keeping it at arm's length. Obituaries aren't really about death, they're about life. Reading about people who are dead now and did things with their lives makes me want to get up and do something decent with mine. Thinking about death every morning makes me want to live. Robert Frost's Epitaph I had a lover's quarrel with the world. From Victor Hugo There is a determined, though unseen, bravery which defends itself foot to foot in the darkness against the fatal invasions of necessity and dishonesty. Noble and mysterious triumphs which no eye sees, which no renown rewards, which no flourish of triumph salutes. Life, misfortunes, isolation, abandonment, poverty, are battlefields which have their heroes, obscure heroes, sometimes greater than the illustrious heroes. From Somerset Mom, you can do anything in this world if you are prepared to take the consequences. From Alfred Adler, trust only movement, Life happens at the level of events, not of words. Trust movement. From Tom Robbins. The unhappy person resents it when you try to cheer him up, because that means he has to stop dwelling on himself and start paying attention to the universe. Unhappiness is the ultimate form of self-indulgence. From Charles Baudelaire. A multitude of small delights constitutes happiness. From Albert Camus. You will never be happy if you continue to search for what happiness consists of. You will never live if you are looking for the meaning of life. From Joseph Campbell. People say that we're all seeking. People say what we're all seeking is a meaning for life. I don't think that's what we're really seeking. I think what we're seeking is an experience of being alive so that our life experiences on the purely physical plane will have resonance within our own innermost being and reality, so that we actually feel the rapture of being alive. That's what it's all finally about. From Colette, be happy, it's one way of being wise. 
from Dog Hammerhold. For all that has been, thanks. For all that will be, yes. From Lao Tzu, seek not happiness too greedily, and be not fearful of unhappiness. From Dostoevsky, man is unhappy because he doesn't know he's happy. It's only that. From Wilhelm Stekel, truth is not always the best basis for happiness. There are certain lies which may constitute a far better and more secure foundation of happiness. There are people who perish when their eyes are opened. From Edith Wharton, if only we'd stop trying to be happy, we'd have a pretty good time. From Leo Rostin, I cannot believe the purpose of life is to be happy. I think, I think the purpose of life is to be useful, to be responsible, to be compassionate. It is, above all, to matter, to count, to stand for something, to have made some difference that you lived at all. Attributed to Rita Mae Brown, one of the keys of happiness is a bad memory. From Gandhi, happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. From Vicky Baum, there are shortcuts to happiness, and dancing is one of them. From Helen Keller, although the world is very full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of it. From Susan Sontag, to live is an aggression. You're involved with aggressions on all levels when you move around the world. You're occupying a space that other people can't occupy. You're stepping on flora, fauna, and little creatures as you walk. So there is a normal aggression that is part of the rhythm of living. From Willa Cather, there are only two or three human stories, and they go on repeating themselves as fiercely as if they had never happened before. From Leonard Cohen, you live your life as if it's real. From Hesse, only the ideas that we actually live are of any value. From Marcus Aurelius, waste no more time arguing about what a good person should be. Be one. From Catherine Mansfield, if you wish to live, you must first attend your own funeral. From Eric Fromm, who will tell whether one happy moment of love or the joy of breathing or walking on a bright morning and smelling the fresh air is not worth all the suffering and effort which life implies? From Marianne Williamson, there is nothing to find, only to realize. There is nothing to become, only to be. There is nothing to fear, only to love. From Edward Abbey, heaven is home, utopia is here. Nirvana is now. From Jack Kerouac, believe in the holy contour of life. From Rob Brezhny, evil is boring, cynicism is pointless, fear is a bad habit, despair is lazy, hopelessness is self-indulgent. On the other hand, joy is fascinating, love is an act of heroic genius, pleasure is our birthright. Chronic ecstasy is a learnable skill. From Colette, what a wonderful life I've had. I only wish I'd realized it sooner. <laughs>